welcome back to Trucking with Velox 18. We are gonna go and pick up some chicken. That's right, some pollo. And we're gonna go and we are gonna take it down to uh, Atlanta, Georgia, man. Atlanta, hot Atlanta. But uh, we're gonna pick up here in Enterprise, Alabama. So Enterprise, Alabama is just, uh, well, south of Montgomery by about an hour. Eh, a little less than an hour, but about an hour. Yeah, hour and 15, something like that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Look it up on the map. So. We got Oeso in the background. We got the uh, we got the sun setting behind us. We got a midnight appointment, but uh, they said I could show up a little early if I wanted to. This place has way more good reviews than bad reviews, which is not typical for any shipper or receiver. So I think it's gonna be a good night, man. I think it's gonna be a good night. I think we're gonna go over there and get loaded real quick. We got midnight appointment, and then I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I, it kind of depends on how I feel. Cause I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try to take a little nap right now. If I can take a nap, then I'll probably do the trucking tonight. Stop somewhere near, uh, I almost said Hot Atlanta again. <laughs> Stop somewhere over there near Atlanta, shut it down. That way I can get kind of through Atlanta before uh, the daytime. So I don't have to worry about any traffic in the morning. Um, but uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see how long they take. Uh, we may end up just staying here and sleeping and then driving in the morning. Uh, it's all it's all good. We got like an 11, 11 a.m. Uh, appointment to deliver, so no big deal, MBD. Uh, but with that, I'm going to roll the music and then, uh, shoot, I'll just catch up with you guys, uh, you know, in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. Roll the music. <laughs> Pilgrims um, over here in uh, Enterprise, Alabama. Uh, we dead headed all of like seven miles, nine miles, something like that. Uh, from our drop off this morning, we delivered over in New Brockton, Alabama, which is like just one little town over, and uh, now we're in Enterprise. So uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy, and uh, we just had to hang out all day in Enterprise, Alabama. But other than that, it was a good day. No, um, but. Uh, Look for loads all day. It was a tough. It was a tough go of it, man. Tough go trying to find a load. I finally found this load. I minimized the amount of deadhead, which is good because that maximizes profits on uh, a load out of a bad area. Alabama's not a great market. I knew that coming in. I took a good, good paying load to get down here. And uh, so, if you want to see how I chose this load, you're gonna have to go and watch the previous video because uh, there's a there's a lot of me looking on the load boards on that video. Uh, so if you're into that, you can go look look at that. Uh, we got the ghetto bird out here. What? They want to see Velox in person. <laughs> I wonder what they're looking for though. <laughs> Maybe I should get back in my truck. We got convicts on the loose. Uh, nah, uh, okay. So, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So. I looked for a load all day long. It took me a long time, man, like six hours to find a load. Finally booked this one, and we had to wait until the evening time, so we just hung out. Now it's evening time. We're here to pick it up. I'm excited. Uh, we got a four and a half hour, maybe five hour drive over to Atlanta. 
uh, the other side of Atlanta, the eastern side of Atlanta. So we're going to be, um, it's about a five hour drive and I'm thinking about doing it tonight. If I can get loaded here like quick, I might, I might try and like do a lot of it tonight. Um, if they're slower here and I don't get loaded uh, really quick, then I might, I don't know, I might stay parked over here and then just leave out in the morning. I don't know. It really just depends on how things go here. But we'll uh, we'll get into that after we, uh, after we um, yeah, figure this out. All right, I'm going to go sit in the truck and uh, edit my video up and see, see if I see anyone like running through here in striped pajamas. <laughs> get it? You know, like the old timey, just, never mind. All right, well, uh, I knew that was going to happen. I was in here editing my video and uh, kind of keeping it keeping it chill and then um, and then I started getting really tired about 11:30. so about 11:30, I was like I was like all right I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna lay down uh, maybe 11:45, and then um, sure enough man 11:50, he comes up I had just dozed off and uh, this is actually getting me really tight right here. I think I should have come through that other way. I just saw the yard goat go this way. I thought maybe this was the better direction for me to go, but gosh dang. I was tight. Um, 10, 9, 8, 7. Alright, I think that's... That's the door I'm going in right there. It seems like a pretty inconvenient door. That sucks. I mean, as far as they go. Doesn't seem like a very convenient door for them to load out of. There's like a wall right there. They don't have... They can't just like pull straight into the... Pull straight into the trailer. Alright, anyway. So, yeah. I just... Uh, I just dozed off, man. I had just dozed off, and now, uh, now I gotta freaking back this thing into the dock. Which I'm not the best at anyway. Then you add in you add in. Um, Tiredness and it's not it's not always the best uh, best combination. Actually, I'm gonna go open the doors because it seems like it's pretty tight back there. I'll catch up with you guys once we get loaded. All right, it is uh, it's like 2:45 in the morning. We are loaded up, and uh, I slept for a good little bit, but now uh, but now I gotta check out. Uh, this 
Marathon gas station. Uh, and I think I think I'm gonna just tuck in over here and uh, sleep a little bit longer. Uh, I got some time and you know if I left immediately and just kept driving, not only would I be stupid tired, but I also um, would be uh, worried about uh, uh, Atlanta traffic, like rush hour morning traffic. So I figure let's not worry about Atlanta rush hour. Let's just get ourselves over here, get ourselves a little bit more sleep so that we're, uh, you know, prepared for the day yourselves uh just another um just like another hour and a half and then i'll be set i'll be good to go i don't know if i'll be good to go that's actually it's really not enough sleep but i shouldn't say that on camera i had someone say i've spent my whole career in the legal profession i cringe when you say you know you don't you're you're uh, you're tired or whatever because uh, that could be used against you in court if anything ever happened. Even if you did abide by the letter of the law. Um, and I just say, find me a trucker who's not driving tired and I'll find you a liar. It's, it, it, it's par for the course, man. Uh, it's part of the gig. Part of the gig. Shouldn't be always, but it's part of the game. All right, I'm gonna tug in, get some more sleep, and then uh, wake up in the morning, and we'll get the heck out of here. All right, after a couple hours, now it's time for us to hit the road, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get towards. Um, Atlanta, let's see, well it's 5.30 right now, it says it's a four hour drive from here, but I'm giving myself five hours, uh, so in five hours it'll be, uh, it'll be 10.30 uh, central time, which is 11.30 eastern time, so um, hopefully that hour cushion will be enough to get through Atlanta. I guess we will have to uh, wait and see because, you know, Atlanta's Atlanta, man. It, it can be, uh, it can be a problem. So, we'll do our best. Song, 
I'm not even gonna. I'm not even. <laughs> if you know, you know, and if you don't, congratulations. Your ignorance is bliss. That song is goofy. All right, I will uh, catch up with you guys down the road. Let's go. tinkle but now we're ready to get back on the road um, the broker called me and was like hey man I see you on macro point uh, you're still uh, you're still in Alabama you think you're gonna make it I said I, I do I said I think I think I'm gonna be right on time and he said uh, and he said yeah all right I said well I said, I know I'm going through Atlanta, so I'm giving myself a little bit of extra time. I said, my GPS tells me that I'm gonna be there about 45 minutes early right now, but, uh, and he goes, yeah, you'll probably be right on time. <laughs> I said, all right. So well, if I get hung up, I'll be, I'll, I'll call you right away and let you know, you know I'll stay in communication with you guys, so. Uh, I'm delivering, it's not like to a big food distribution warehouse or anything, so I don't think that There'll be some uh, big deal uh, if I end up somehow being late. But uh, yeah, this morning, man, I just couldn't. I needed to get more sleep. I couldn't leave when I was loaded. I I must have woke up in the middle of a REM cycle or something because it was it was bad. I was like I I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to start my day was not ready so we got more sleep and uh, now we're trucking and all is good but you know cutting it a little closer and I say that but it's just because I'm anticipating you know a little bit of traffic in Atlanta slowing us down and causing us some issues so we'll see if that actually happens or if, uh, you know, if we're able to just truck it right around there on 285 and you know and scoot around nice and quickly then you know then nothing nothing will come of it and maybe i will show up at 11 o'clock half hour early who knows who knows but uh anyway all right i'm gonna keep getting down the road i'll catch up with you guys when we get there all right we got susanna's kitchen Um, and there's kind of a lot of trucks here. I guess I'll just block some people in and park right here. It says do not block drive. I don't know what you want us to do here, folks. I'll give it my best shot not to block it. All right, I'm going to go check in. We got here. Um, it's a... Uh, it's 11.20, so 10 minutes to spare. Woo! All right. Um, I checked in. The guy said uh, that he'll get me in a dock pretty soon. He said, stay by your phone. I'm going to be calling pretty soon. Uh, so I'm just hanging out here in the driveway where we parked. Um, I said, hey, is it cool if I'm just out there in the driveway? And he said, yeah, that's as long as you got a patch of driveway and you're not blocking anything, then you're good. I was like, all right, cool. Cool. I'm blocking some people in that parked over here, but I think they're here for the day you know at work so if any of them need me to move or pull forward or do whatever I'll I'll get out of their way but anyway 
I'll probably be back there before they need to, need to get out of here. Um, right now, I'm going to be booking a load. Um, on my way here, I called first thing in the morning, right at 8 o'clock, and called the broker for my for my afternoon uh, load this afternoon, my afternoon pickup. And I said, hey, I still haven't received the rate confirmation. You know, I was waiting for it yesterday, and then everyone went home. So, uh, and, and she said, oh, I, uh, what, what load? And so I told her what load I was looking for, and then she said, oh, I covered those this morning. And I'm like, oh. Uh, and she, she clearly didn't remember, like, talking to me yesterday a couple times. Uh, she clearly didn't remember, like, didn't get the emails I sent or whatever. I, I, I was just like, dude, like, we, we agreed on a rate. We agreed that I would do I, I just I had to get set up and then she she I said well can you check my number my my MC number and just make sure I'm set up with you guys so that I can just book a load with you guys next time um, so we don't have to go through like some song and dance because that always delays things and in this market delays when you're trying to book a load um, well they, they just someone else will come right in and book the load right, right up from underneath you so um, so she checked and she said, okay, yeah, the compliance just needs you to do one thing. They say, they send it over to you. And I'm like, okay, I haven't gotten anything. Can you have them resend it to me, please? Because I would love to get this like done so that we can just be good. So anyway, so I don't have a load this afternoon. So I had to call the broker because remember I, I, if you watched yesterday's video, I had a Thursday, a Wednesday load booked but i had to get set up with the carrier pack and all that so i booked a thursday load and then i got the thursday rate confirmation but i didn't get the wednesday rate confirmation so anyway so i had to call tql for the thursday load and just tell them hey man the wednesday load canceled on me and uh i don't think i'm gonna be in that market if i end up in that market i'll give you a call back and i'll see if you've already covered it but i want to give you as much time as you can to try and book that load um you know and if i end up down there and i don't get it uh you know kind of kind of sucks because that one took me home but um i don't want to leave the broker sitting there even if it is tql you know and they've burned me in the past uh you know it's taking the high road man you treat others as you want to be treated um and they should do the same but you know their 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 bad behavior doesn't justify you know my bad behavior Right, that's we learned that as kids. Just because they do something wrong doesn't mean you get to do two wrongs don't make a right. All right. So anyway, so that's um, I gave them a bunch of time and he appreciated it. The the guy I talked to, he was like, all right, yeah, no, cool. I'm I'm glad you called me first thing in the morning. I got plenty of time to cover this. Don't even worry about it. I'll get it covered. Um, and uh, and he goes and call me if uh, you know if if you do end up in, with a load coming da down to the same area, just give me a call and I'll see if I s still have something. I was like, all right, cool. So anyway, so now I gotta look for a load. And I'll be honest, it looks thin, thin here in Atlanta. So I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna do. But I'm gonna start looking for a load. Um, I'll catch up with you guys when we get back there and get in the dock. All right, we waited about an hour, hour and a half for a dock, but we got in there now and uh, they're unloading me. So it wasn't as quick as I hoped, but uh, hey, we're getting it done. Um, not a lot of luck on the uh, on the load front for today, so I don't know. I'm gonna be trying to get something get something worked out uh, over here. Um, uh, trying to trying to get something, um, yeah, figured out for today. But I kind of just lost my interest in today because it was so depressing, and I just started working on next week. I'm like, I'm gonna be ahead of the game next week. I'm I'm tired of this trying to book stuff day of. It's just it's not working. Uh, I already knew it didn't work, but it's kind of like one of those things where you keep looking like days and days in advance and you're like, oh, something better will pop up, right? Something better? No, it doesn't. Nothing good's popping up right now. So, um, I love chicken plants where there's just flies everywhere and it smells good. Anyway, um, so that's, uh, that's what's going on right now though is uh, I'm booking stuff for next week, but nothing for today. So kind of doing it backwards. But uh, anyway, we'll get unloaded and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do today. I don't know. Uh, I called the, the, the shop to see if I could get some stuff done on the truck. Um, he has time Monday morning, so I'm gonna schedule it for then. Um, that's just for the trailer. Maybe I'll do some other stuff. I need to get an oil change. I need to, uh, yeah, maybe I'll just deadhead bag and do that crap. There's nothing, there's nothing really good tomorrow either. Otherwise I'd do it do it here this afternoon and then work on a load tomorrow but there ain't nothing man nothing 
So I will talk to you guys, uh, catch up with you guys over there uh, on the flip side. See you on another one. Catch you in an hour or so. I don't know. All right, boom, we got out of here. Uh, it is 2.15, so not bad, not bad. This is a, a little bit tight back here to maneuver around, but we got it. We got it. But, uh, cool, cool, could you? Feels like my, uh, feels like my tandems didn't lock in place. So I'm gonna get straight here, and then I'm gonna use my, uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's see if I can hear it lock. Sorry, I did that right in that guy's ear. <laughs> uh, feels a little sloppy still, but it it might just be that I when you drive with thirty eight thousand pounds and then you switch to being empty, it uh, feels a lot different. So it might just be my my silly my silly like muscle memory has to change now. So I'm gonna pull up here. Um, and I'm, and I'm gonna I'm gonna look I'm gonna look for uh, for a load right now uh, I don't know I don't know if I'll have any luck um, I don't know if I should I mean I'm already looking at tomorrow and it's not like there's anything coming out tomorrow that'll be any better so I don't know man it's one of those things where you're, I'm like close, close to home, but I'm far from home at the same time. So trying to get home is tempting, but you know, basically 200 and like 30 miles from home probably or something like that. So that's like $230. I gotta, I gotta pay to get home for fuel, you know, I'm about a dollar a mile, a little less. A little less when I'm empty and a little less uh, now that fuel I, I got fuel for 475 today so um, you know let's just let's just call it 200 bucks even it's uh, you know it's it's tough it's tough to uh, it's it's tough to make that decision right now but I also like I don't, I don't know it's kind of like you just don't know the future, right? Like you don't know if if there's a load that might pop up here in the next in the next uh, hour or so that that might pay really good and might you know might make a lot of sense for me. But then again, it might not. So anyway, I'm gonna parallel park here and look at the load board one more time before we take off. I'll catch up with you guys later. All right, we're headed home. Screw this. They got they got loads going down to Florida, down to Miami, Florida from Atlanta. That's like I don't even know how many miles. 400 and something miles, maybe even 500 miles. They're trying to pay 1,600. No, that's right. It's, it was uh, it was just under or just over three dollars a mile for the good ones, and it's it's just kind of like. You get down there, you can't get you can't get back out. So, you know, or, or you take uh, a load for a thousand dollars all the way up to freaking Ohio or something. You know, it, it it just none of it made any sense. I feel like this week is uh, is better spent getting the truck. Um, you know, just couple little things I need to do I already scheduled the trailer alignment Just need to, uh, get a p.m. done basically and 
you know, get this thing ready to rock and roll next week. I think I think my time's gonna be better spent doing that. Uh, it's um, I'd be I'd be kind of pushing it off uh, to make very little money. And for those of you who know anything about trucking, pushing off preventative maintenance is like the number one way to uh, put yourself out of business. <laughs> Oh, look at, oh, <laughs> they really need to give this oversized load a little bit more room. That Kia it was just squeezing them on that lane, and it's like, man, you almost took your own mirror off. Kia, pay attention to what you're doing. Oh, uh, man. Anyway, it'd be tough to be driving that big old, uh, it's a big old stinking, uh, like, rock truck tire, like, one of those free, and I don't even know how how wide that is but it's a tire laid on its side so uh what each lane is like like 11 11 feet or something like that so that's like a i don't know 13 14 foot tall tire that's crazy that's nuts anyway all right um so we're uh we're just dead heading home it's like 200 and something miles and uh like i said i i almost waited um, for tomorrow almost waited just like you know just go tuck away somewhere and give myself a little can't find it right uh, give myself a little um, uh, you know an extra day to try to find a load and then I was like man I'm going to be sitting down here wasting time I'm going to end up taking a crappy load just to try to get close to the house I'll end up having to deadhead 100 miles to the house probably anyway and I just decided, you know what? This ain't worth it, man. This ain't worth it. It's, I'm 200 something miles from the house. I'm going home. We're gonna do. We're gonna get the truck, truck all, uh, you know, squared away, and then that'll be that. So anyway, that's the plan. Uh, I got a load. I, I already booked the load for Monday. I, I got so frustrated today. I booked the load for Monday. So next week's gonna be my week. Next week. Gonna be so much better than the last two weeks. <laughs> Famous last words. All right, uh, we're gonna get through this traffic uh, just in time to get up into Chattanooga and hit that traffic, and then we'll get some more traffic, and then we'll get some more traffic. No, uh, once we get through Chattanooga, it'll be smooth sailing, but that'll be a little bit of a cluster like it always is. But we'll get through it and uh, head home, man. Head home. All right, I made it home. I could. And uh, what are you doing, buddy? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. He was telling me what I need to say. Thank you for my uh, skinny pop popcorn. Thank you so much, Gus said. Um, so we made it home, obviously. And uh, I was going to just break down this week because this is it, man. Um, went to work Sunday night, but it was just early for a Monday appointment. So Monday... To Wednesday, three days, three thousand two hundred fifty dollars, and um, you know it would have been a little bit more than that. Uh, I had about um, like twenty five or twenty six hundred dollars worth of uh, loads booked. Maybe it was twenty seven hundred. I don't know, something like that. Um, so I had some loads booked, and then they just um, that one from Atlanta to Mobile canceled, and so um, you know I lost I lost out on that. But um, I already told you guys kind of my decision making process on that. I'm gonna try and see if I can get some stuff done on the how um, on the truck. Just just an oil change, just stuff that like I can do on the road. But um, anyway, there's some other there's some other stuff. Okay, stuff. Like I need to find a mechanic in my home area. I need to find the place that I take my truck to. Um, who knows? Maybe they'll do a, a trailer alignment for me, and I won't even have to take it over there on uh, on Monday, and I can just have Monday be uh, be a fresh fresh start but uh, I'm also going to look to book some loads for next week um, to try and build out my week next week so I'm not in another position like I was today where I'm just scrambling trying to figure something out um, <clears throat> but uh, lessons lessons learned you know you can't just you can't just wing it and fly by the seat of your pants um, because if one thing goes wrong hey bud Bye. Wait. I thought you wanted to go see the tractor over there. You want to go see the tractor? He's cutting weight. Is that your boots on? Yes. 
You want all yeah, of us to come go on. together? So come okay. on. Okay. So come on. <laughs> Up this way. All right, let's go. Let's We're going this way. Summer. <laughs> let's go past summer. I coming. Okay. I coming. Okay. See, this this is what I came home for too. Oh. I mean, no, let's be real. No. Let's be real. I don't get to so cool. I don't get to enjoy uh, our sunsets here in our new house and uh, enjoy my son. He likes to go out of, out here and uh, he reenacts his favorite movies and I just I'm not I'm not as much part of that as, as I'd like to be um, on a daily basis. So um, this is what this is what we're doing. We're out here doing this, but. Uh, um, oh, you want? Oh, you want? I didn't tell you guys the mileage. So the mileage was um, like 960 something miles. So, um, yeah, I got to finish before the tractor gets around the corner because it's gonna be loud. But uh, anyway, so ended up at like um, three, three forty-seven a mile or something like that. So pretty good. Uh, but like I said, I mean, when you only when you only do. Um, Three thousand dollars. It it doesn't doesn't matter what your rate per mile is. It just doesn't. So, um, yeah, we're 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 basing everything. We're we're setting everything up for next week. Next week's gonna be an awesome week. Love it. Um, also, I might as well just mention. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys because um, I do get a little bit of money from YouTube, and it frees me up to kind of not feel as stressed right now. Um, it's whoa! I almost got stabbed by a stick. <laughs> Um, it's not as much as you think that it that it might be. Um, I have some people who guess like that it's way higher than what it actually is, but it is a uh, a little um, addition to our to our income that um, just helps helps take the uh, the edge off of this type of a thing. Otherwise, I, I would have been stressing. And um, so, anyway, all right, love you guys. Bye. Peace out. See you on the next load. <laughs> Gosh, look. Here it comes. And here comes the tractor. Here comes the tractor. Gosh, look at it. Maybe that. Look. There he is. You don't want to be that close. <laughs> All right. Peace.